Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are here, a message to the depressed. Let's just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Now I get over 1000 messages every single day. And recently, a lot of people have been writing to me saying that they are depressed, they feel very tired all of a sudden, and it's really uncomfortable. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? Are you depressed right now? No, that's the problem. You see, a lot of people who have depression don't like to admit they feel depressed because they feel like it's a bad thing. They feel ashamed to ever feel depressed. Snap out of it, right? You hear people telling you, you're not depressed. So let me share with you what helped me along my journey. You see, you might feel depressed right now. I'm here to tell you it's okay because if you say depressed phonetically, it's like deep rest, deep rest. Slow motion this side. That's all it means, deep rest go and lie down okay now depression affects so many of us i've been depressed before i realized i needed to lie down okay so we're really gonna talk about what are some ways to deal with depression because it can happen to anybody you see depression doesn't care who you are, how much money you make, how much money you make, where you live, who your parents are, (laughs) how old you are, what you're doing, when you're doing it, who you're with. Depression doesn't care what you're going through. Depression doesn't care. It will strike you at any time. Okay, and a lot of times people who are going through a lot of depression sometimes because it's seen as a bad thing in society, they hide, they have depression, they put on a smiley face, a smile to the world, but a lie to themselves. Sometimes they redo everything. They lash out at loved ones. They even sometimes forget to eat. Seven day vegan challenge, what's happening? or they overeat, okay, or they cancel, right, they cancel, they cancel plans at the last minute, do you want to go out, nope, and then you cancel, just at the last minute, right, so, what helped me along my early journey, when I was going through some stuff, are you going through some stuff right now? You're studying, you're working, everything is happening at the same time and we just need to slow down, okay? (laughs) Realize this today. Along my early journey, I was going through so much. I was studying at the time, I was working at the time, I had relationship problems cat down the road went missing for the seventh time goodness gracious so (laughs) I started to realize that I was feeling very tired all of a sudden okay there is a story about depression and happy they are siblings brother and sister okay now when you are super happy Happy comes out to play. That's good, right? Good. (laughs) When you are sometimes very sad and tired, depression comes out to play. And when happy and depression are holding hands with inside of you, inside of you, they're just in a neutral balance, equalizing each other, right? A perfect homeostasis. But when you're super happy, happy comes out. When you're super sad, Depression comes out. It's not good and bad. Depression is a personal alarm. Right? It's actually helping you. 
become aware of something. Maybe you're working too hard. You're overwhelming yourself. And I was along my early journey. I would be doing so many different things. I'm always busy. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta run here. I gotta run there. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. I was burning myself out. And that's why I was depressed so many years ago. But that all changed because I realized that depression was a friend, just like happy. And depression was telling me, Ralph, go and lie down. (gasps) Okay. You see, many people become depressed because they don't want to listen to that inner voice of depression saying, maybe you need to slow down. Maybe you need to stop doing so many things. Maybe you need to get your butt into nature like Ralph Smart and breathe in that good ass prana, baby. Maybe, just maybe, you need to start accepting yourself today. Many people who are depressed, they are tired because they never feel good enough. And I started to realize you gotta accept yourself 100%. I'm so confident in myself. I love myself, I love other people too, but it feels so good to be alive. So depression rarely comes out, but if it does come out, it's not a bad thing because it lives in you, just like happy does. It's a personal alarm. So be aware of that. And then realize maybe I've got to stop doing so much. I've got to start taking care of my body. Go to the spa today, I'll pay for it. Just go, just go, just go, right? Treat yourself. What do you want, a massage? (laughs) Okay. Depression is showing you something that you need to work on yourself, right? It could be emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So when I was going through a little depressed phase along my early journey when I was about 18, 19, I realized it was because I was just solely focused on getting things, materialistic things, and I realized I needed to step more on the spiritual path and find out what's really important, right? So I needed that personal alarm to help me really see the truth of what's really important. A lot of people who are depressed sometimes self-medicate. People don't realize you're doing that because you're depressed. You might be drinking a lot of alcohol, one glass and then it's two, then it's three, then it's four. Don't make me count up to 100. You don't do that, do you? (laughs) Okay, so sometimes you don't wanna run away from your problems. If you have that personal alarm of depression, beep, 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 then you gotta say, okay, why is this happening? What is it showing me about myself? What can I learn? What am I doing right now? What can I change that can help me become my greatest version for the better? Let's take a moment to breathe. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Depression is not you. Depression is not you. So a lot of people say, I'm depressed. No, you're not depressed. Depression is something which is almost like a passing cloud, right? The siblings live inside of you. They come out, happy comes out, depression comes out, but they're not the sum of your whole existence. So I always tell people depression is like a passing cloud that goes over your head. It's just passing, just let it pass, okay? There's highs and lows in life and they're blue skies and sometimes gray clouds. So if you see depression as a gray cloud, realize it's gonna pass and then rainbows are gonna come out. Oh, it's so beautiful up there, right? (laughs) Okay, nothing, no matter what you are going through, is going to last forever. Whether it's happy or sad, it's not going to last forever. What does last forever is your inner harmony. So realize that whatever you're going through, if you feel really depressed, don't feel guilty about it and realize that it will pass. Just don't judge how you feel to say, I shouldn't be feeling like this because that's why so many people feel depressed because they are in resistance to their feelings. 
okay? Resistance makes stronger. Allow it, say, okay, I feel this way. And then you're gonna see the cloud just pass over you. Then it's just gonna, it's just gonna drift away, right? Depression ultimately is not there to hurt you. It is there to help you. It is a guide showing you what areas you need to work on in your life in essence, to help you become your greatest version. And then you just say, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> and seven day vegan challenge, avoid soda, processed junk food, foods in high saturated fats, right? A lot of processed white sugar, table salt, a leafy kale dish will help you. Plant-based foods full of magnesium, gonna calm your nerves. They're gonna promote the wellness in you. And that's gonna help you heal from depression. Now you're gonna get up if you want to and then just spread your arms out like that. Have a beautiful day. We're here, infinite waters, diving deep. Once again, stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You. <laughs>